Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 12 Let's Play where we are still rocking these lab upgrades. And the battle blimp that I upgraded in the previous episode will be done in 10 minutes. Guess what? That's the length of a YouTube video. Well, mine are generally longer, but you understand what I mean. So, uh, I'm excited about this. Obviously, we have some upgrades that we need to, uh, to do on the base. There's like 200 or something of them. 167. They're called walls. So, we're going to continue to work on them. Also, um, you know what? I, I should, honestly, I should probably come up with a plan right now because I actually have a lot of elixir and I don't want to spend some on the walls and then not have enough for my lab upgrade so let me just look for a quick um right now I I kind of would like to do one of the shorter upgrades like a 12 day instead of a 14 because this day of the week is um moving forward gonna be a little tougher for me to film so maybe the lighting spell actually the 11 day may be nice uh that, that one's a 12 and then we have the stone slammer which is an eight no, eight would definitely not work. Okay, so uh, really the best choice that I have is a 12 or an 11. So I will likely end up upgrading maybe this lightning spell. That'd be kind of awesome. Um, I don't even know what what day would that be. Uh, yeah, that works out for me. Okay, so yeah, th th that's the plan, which means it's actually a little bit of a cheaper upgrade too. That works out perfectly with what I need to do, which means I need to spend some loot before we go out and do a few upgrades. Also, I did that many walls off camera, not too good for a two week span, uh, but you know, it is, it is what it is. I mean, progress is progress, right? Even if it's slow. So, whoa, what the heck just happened? I think one wall switched places with another. That was weird. So let's go ahead and upgrade one of these walls with elixir. There we are. There's no way to dump uh, dark elixir, so I may very well max out my dark elixir. Also, for those of you who are curious, yes, I will be switching up my army composition. Um, I've been using the bats in the Lalo long enough. I think I'm ready to go back to a, uh, a ground attack now. So let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for attack strategies. I have one in mind, but you guys might change my mind. Uh, also, um, is that it? Really? That's all I really have to say. I, th I think that's it. Okay, so, uh, here we go. 700,000. <laughs> that's a pretty good solid amount of loot. 700,000 gold and elixir. Now, okay, we got, so our, there we go. So our sweepers are pointing up and down, so we really can't account for it. So let's just smack this base from up here. All right, so hounds, balloons, and then, of course, our bat spells. Boom, boom, boom. Warden and Battle Blimp. I'm gonna poison and skeleton over this queen. And then Warden's ability with our rage spell. And there we go. See, I have this attack down pat. I'm ready for a different something a little bit different. And it may not be ground necessarily. It may it may be an air attack that just is different than Lalo or different than this bat spell spam Lalo. Uh, but I'm not too sure. I, I'm not too sure. I'm, the, I'm considering two different things, okay? Let me just be completely transparent. Three different things. One, a primarily witch attack, because I've just never used them, and I need to spend Dark Elixir, because I have no other way to spend Dark Elixir. Number two, back to our Iced Bow Witch. It's amazing. I love it. Super strong. And the last one would be a Dragon Army. Now, the Dragon Army would be super cool, but dumb, because I need Elixir. So, um, that's why I think the Witch or the, or the Iced Bow Witch with the Ice Golems would actually be really really cool so that's kind of um, that's kind of what I'm thinking here guys just kind of thinking about ways to mix it up and continue to use the loot that I don't necessarily need but uh, there we go that was an easy three-star guys easy three-star I mean I even use this in war <laughs> and I kill it I absolutely kill it with this army I love it so gotta love it now my king and my queen are, are kind of circling around over here we have our cleanup now working over there they should I mean based on everything kind of getting destroyed down there they should kind of wrap up up here and meet up with those lava pups. So I think that our three star will take place down here somewhere. Let's just see what happens. Um, if I don't use any of my hero's abilities, then it's definitely going to be down here somewhere. Yeah, it's going to be on those gold mines. Watch this. Yep, there we go. So it's definitely going to be on the gold mines, likely the one on the bottom. Sweet. Let's pop the king's ability and the queen's ability just for fun. It'll automatically pop if you don't use it, but I, I just like to do it myself. So there we go. With that loot bonus over 900,000 gold and elixir. <laughs> Gotta love that. Gotta flip and love that. All right, let's go ahead and request for some CC troops and um, collect on our stuff. And I've got five minutes until my battle blimp is done. Now, the other option is stone slime. Oh, that's an eight day. That's right. I already talked about that. I thought that for some reason, I thought that I had forgotten. 
It's because I usually do forget at least one thing every single video. Don't you just love that? Don't you just love that? Anyway, ooh, I actually forgot that I can donate to myself on this one. Okay, let me let me donate or um, let me log into my my main account here. Hopefully, I'm actually logged into my main account here and uh, donate some balloons to myself. Balloons, B L O O O O N S. Oh, I'm logged into my Town Hall Seven. Oopsie. Uh. <laughs> anyway, so let's go. Logging in. Bam. All right, here's my Town Hall Thirteen. I've been logged into it today. Let me uh, send in the balloons. There's six, and I've got to rearrange so I don't mess with the uh, army composition here. There we go. More balloons and the rage spell. There we go. All right, so we got everything that we need. Let's go do our last Lalo Bat spell army. Unless you guys really decide that you love it. I mean, if you, if you, okay. So if you guys like log in, you comment and you upvote people's comments, because honestly, that's the easiest way for me to tell, like what's the majority of you guys are thinking. If you see somebody else who's already said something you think and you upvote it, then um, those comments get that higher priority on the comments list. So uh, anyway, if you see a lot of people that are saying, yeah, 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 just continue to do the Bat Lalo, then I'll do the Bat Lalo, but uh, I think that switching it up would be nice at this point. Uh, Alright guys, so let me find that perfect base with the Champion League, Champion League loot bonus. Oh wow. 800,000 gold. Wow. Okay, this is a triple eight. I'm usually like, yeah, triple seven base. This is a triple eight. Jeez, man. All right, um, I'm gonna attack this base from the uh, from the eagle side. It's uh, look at this inferno or the um, the town hall is not even maxed out, bro. So there's no there's no gigabomb. This is awesome. All right, uh, y'all get in there. There we go. Get in the bat spells, warden and battle blimp. Okay, poison and skeleton over the queen. Warden's ability, dude. I got this down pat, bro. I mean, there's like. It works every time. And then look at the sweepers, too. I completely avoided the sweepers. That is amazing. So these balloons, because there's no Gigabomb, they're going to just dominate this core. We got rid of the Town Hall, the Eagle Artillery. These balloons going to run up. They're going to grab the, intern the uh, Inferno Tower with the Air Defense. I mean, this was like a total domination right here. Get rid of that Queen. Come on, pups. You got this. You got this. They're all focused on the King for some reason. Um, <laughs> it's good, though. I mean, we don't need the King to hang around. Um, let me see. Where do I want... You know what? I'm going to split my king up and my queen. They're going to go in uh, in opposite directions and meet up on the other side. So, there we go, guys. Also, this queen will be kind of closer to the enemy queen. So, that'll probably work out nicely for me. It's going to be another three stars. That was a triple eight. Okay? Eight, 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 eight hundred thousand gold and elixir. Eight thousand dark elixir. And then you want to add in also your loot bonus. This one's going to be over a million each. Uh, gold and elixir. In fact, in fact, I'm going to have enough loot with my treasury that I could do pretty much any lab upgrade I choose to. So if I decide to change my mind off of that lightning spell that I had talked about at the beginning, I can, and it shouldn't be an issue. It really shouldn't. Where's the queen? Oh, lava, a lava pup killed the queen? Whew. Dude, that's awesome. Okay, I did not catch that at all, but that was uh, unexpected, totally unexpected. There we go. As you can see, I've maxed out my dark elixir, even though I'm spending a crazy amount of dark elixir every single army, um, I still maxed out because there's nothing for me to spend it on except for super troops, could do something special with super troops. That'd be that might be kind of cool. Uh, like I said, suggestions down below in the comments, and if somebody suggests what you want to see, upvote that comment. That's the best way for me to see. Uh, like, like if I'm reading a spam of like you know 300 comments or whatever, I can't really get a grasp of what's the majority. But if if one comment has a hundred upvotes, that's pretty obvious that that's what you guys want to see. Or a thousand. I mean, it's, shoot, there's. 20,000 of y'all that usually watch these videos, so <laughs> there should be a lots of comments, right? Are you gonna go comment now down below? You should definitely you should definitely comment. It helps out the channel. It helps me out a lot. Anyway, so uh, guys, now that we've done that, uh, I've got one minute until this lab upgrade is done, so perfect timing. I think I'm gonna do a couple of wall upgrades with gold. Right, because I don't need to upgrade any of these with gold. This is elixir. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So all of my gold can go into my walls. In fact, I'm going to collect my treasury. This should get me to 5 million. Perfect. So let's do another wall. All right. And then my elixir. So I've collected all of my elixir. Um, can I take any from here? No. Okay. So guys, I've got 12 million elixir. I can literally upgrade anything that I want. Anything. 
So let's think about the armies I was talking about doing. Iced Bow Witch, right? I, Iced Golem Zolders Witches, they're all Dark Elixir based, which is kind of the point. I've already maxed out all my Dark Elixir stuff. The only thing I need to upgrade left is... Or the only things that I need to upgrade left are things like goblins, which are kind of whatever. Wizards are always helpful. And there are wizards in the Ice Bow Witch army, isn't there? Let me see. There isn't. Wow, the only... <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Ice Bow Witch. Uh, the only Elixir troop is Baby Dragons, which I believe... I believe I've maxed out my baby dragons. I have. All right. So this one won't be, uh, if I decide to go with Ice Bow Witch, this next upgrade will not be a consequence. Okay. Uh, but I might decide to do something different. So like I said, I talked about doing dragons. It may behoove me to upgrade my dragons. <laughs> I don't know, man. But there we go. That battle blimp is maxed out now. That's awesome. So I could either do the lightning spell, which again, I, I go back to this. The lightning spell is kind of versatile, right? I mean, the, uh, the P.E.K.K.A., a lot of people like the P.E.K.K.A., but it's an Elixir-based thing. I don't want to use Elixir. Same thing with the dragons. So here's where I'm falling down to, and I'm bad with the invisibility spell, so we'll wait until later. Um, it's either going to be the lightning spell or the wizards. This is what it comes down to, because the other troops are either worthless, or I just don't want to spend the loot on them. So I think we need to stick with our lightning spell plan. Yeah, that definitely needs to be the case, because again, the 11-day the upgrade time works better with my schedule, and uh, I think I'm even more likely to use these lightning spells than I will be the, the wizards, at least for this next army that I'm thinking about using. So, uh, let's upgrade the lightning spell. Level 8, I think that's maxed out. I don't know if they get another upgrade to Town Hall 12, but I guess we'll find out. For now, though, let's do this. 8 million elixir, 11-day upgrade in 3, 2, 1, BAM! Nice. All right, guys, so unfortunately, I don't have enough elixir, so I can't do another wall, but it's totally fine. I've got 164 walls left to go, and we are making fast, fast pro uh, progress. I almost said process. We're not really making a fast process. The, f the process is moving at about the same rate that it's supposed to. <laughs> anyway, um, like I said, thoughts in, your, uh, in the comments about comments that you like the idea of as far as army compositions are concerned in this series. And I'll see you guys in 11 days. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily gaming videos. Don't forget to ring that bell for notifications. And don't forget to use code Klaus if you guys decided to buy something in the game. But remember that the code expires every single seven days. So mine's obviously expired because I, you know, haven't played the game on, or I haven't uh, filmed on this in, in like two weeks. So I'm going to input the code using the link in the description or I can do it manually in the settings. But going into the settings, more settings, and under create a boost to hit enter code. Klaus. Also, don't forget that this works in every single Supercell game, not just Clash of Clans. So if you guys decide to uh, buy something in like Clash Royale or, or uh, Brawl Stars or whatever, definitely give Code Klaus a try. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.